Hello everyone, it's Sandy. Today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to do it on Yupo. Um, a different way to watercolor, yes indeed. Uh, if you haven't tried Yupo before, it is a, uh, it's 100% polypropylene. This is very smooth finish. This is what I do my alcohol inks on and uh, I'm going to do something a little different with it than I normally do. <clears throat> Put that away here. So I've got a sh one sheet here and this is extremely smooth. It's basically plastic. It's not paper at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freehand a, a leaf out of my out of my memory. Um, not looking at anything here. And I'm just going to sort of do maple kind of ish leaf and da, 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 like that. Okay. I've got my trusty white knight paints here and I'm going to set those aside for a moment. I've taken a little bit of my ink. This is a water water-based ink and I put it in a bowl a little bowl I've got my stick here I got off of a bush outside and so I'm going to use that to apply this ink and I got a nice big splotch of it on my table up here marvelous okay so I have got my uh, just the first brush I picked it it's uh, this is a uh, very rough painting, I don't need anything particular. So I've just picked this brush. And I'm just gonna start with my, I'm going to start with some, let's see, what is that? Matter Lake Red Light. And I'm just going to start it. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot of color and I want a lot of water on this as well. Uh, so I want a nice big puddle. Oh, hey, I was gonna put some water on this first. Well, I forgot to do that. Oh, brother, what a brain. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it this way then. And I'm gonna add a few more little spikes. Okay, I'm gonna wash that out of my brush. Actually, I should have put a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit more, maybe down on this one here, this lobe. I wipe my paper and I kind of can't see my lines anymore. So, main thing, if you you want to grab some Yupo paper, pause this video and go grab it. Grab your paints, the most colorful uh, you can find, or maybe you might might want it really subtle. So, grab what you want, paint along with me. This is just a fun Sunday morning thing to do. There, I got enough of that. Now I'm gonna go with one of my golden colors. This is the golden light I'm gonna be putting on here. And I'm, I'm just, let's see, I think what I'm gonna do is some places I'm going to put it together, some places not. Oh, that's a really run in there. Okay, I'm gonna to have to keep it apart a little bit. Put a lot, oh, hey you. Okay. Wow, that color wants to just be everywhere. Okay. You. Let's see. Maybe I'll take Titian Red, which is a really nice autumny color. So you can see I'm going for autumn colors here and and even though it's not autumn here where I live, if I did leaves the color they are here, they would be brown and crumpled up and laying on the ground. So that's not what I'm doing. Okay. So if you're painting along with me, just, just, sit and put colors on to your heart's content. It doesn't matter if they mix up 
mix some, but if you let them mix too much, you aren't going to have the swirls of color that I'm, I'm hoping I get at the end of this. I hope that I, these colors will swirl so I don't... They'll swirl together, but not necessarily mix so much. That's what I'm hoping for. If you go to my website, SandraJSchultz.com, and you look at, actually, I don't know if I have this picture on there, but I've got a picture. It's on my Etsy shop, Sandra J. Schultz Studio on Etsy, and it's entitled October. And I did that painting this way. So you can see a, a result. What should I put on here? Let's see. Um, uh, I think I'll go with some carmine or down here. That's a nice color. I like carmine. But then uh, there again, I'm just kind of going for a really lot of color. And if you haven't used Dupo paper before, you um, and if you don't have any, it is a polypropylene paper, as I said before, and it is, uh, well, it's like plastic paper, so the ink, uh, the ink, the co color does not soak in at all. It will, you have to wait until this air dries. There will be no help um, with the paper will not assist you by sucking up the moisture and getting it out of your way. So it's just going to sit here. So this is probably going to take me a while to finish this video because I'm going to have to sit and wait for it to dry. And if I blow dry it, it will move this, this paint. It will move it and it will change the way this whole thing looks. So I cannot do that. So, okay, now I'm going to I, I'm going to do something really fun. I've tried uh, two of the White Knights metallics. I have Silver Light and I have Inca Gold, and I really like them. They are so fun to use. They're they're bold. They are have a lot of gold in them, and, or silver. And uh, I've used them on some paintings. The silver more than the gold um, just because I've that's what has matched the paintings a little bit more but isn't that isn't that just I don't know if you can really see what that what this is looking like but I really like these colors so if you if you have white nights if you've got some room for a couple more colors I would say add a couple of these to your to your box I think that you might be really happy with that I love this gold. It's so pretty. Really pretty. Oh, this is swirling all by itself here, so um, that's good. But I'm going to give it a little bit more oomph in just a few moments here. Okay. Let me just pull this, pull this red down here for the stem. All right, so there I've got a leaf that is very colorful, and I'm going to take my stick, and I'm going to get a little bit more on my hand. What the heck? I'm going to be pretty sparing with this. At first, it doesn't look like much, but it spreads out. So I'll maybe take it from here. And I'm just doing like the veins in the leaf with this. Okay. Now that's not very much, 
but it's enough. And so what's going to happen here is it's going to start to mix and blend and move with the colors. And so it's going to take quite some time to do that. So I will uh, just let it dry. I'll be back in a little bit when I have some finished results to show you. Okay, so I am back and it is dry. I did not like the way it was drying. It, it didn't have enough movement, so I did end up using the hair dryer. Down here, the water was all pooling down here, and so I turned it over and I used the hair dryer to kind of push it back a little bit. So um, if you are going to if you're going to work on one of these yourself, you just have to kind of go with what's what's happening on your paper. And if you don't like it, then take evasive action. I'm going to take a little bit of my gold. I really like where the gold is. Um, it's kind of dispersed. It's it's really nice and sparkly. I'm just going to take a little bit and give it some give it some splatters. With that, maybe I will take a little bit of the carmine. I like the carmine. And give it some splatters around on the leaf, off the leaf. And, and I think that's good. So I'm going to let this dry again. Okay, so it's dry. And let me see what I think about this paper. Well, um, I would say that I have done this a, a number of times. Not a whole lot. I don't paint like this a lot, but I've done it a number of times. And, and as far as like comparing the results... Um, this one is maybe not so much one of the one of my favorites, but you know you can see how the process is. So you aren't going to be able to be in control of what happens so much. So, um, but the good thing about it is, if I take this paper over to the sink and I run water on it because I didn't like it, if I didn't like it, um, I could wipe almost all of the color off of this. And start over again so this is not a wasted piece of paper um, by any means if if it doesn't turn out right so just give it a try and get some ink um, just some water-based ink this is a pretty thick ink um, you might try different kinds of ink um, and see how it reacts usually it will make it swirl pretty much this time it didn't it almost seemed to me like it wasn't swirling so much because the gold was was stopping it. And I had never tried using the gold before, so that might have been it. But um, there it is. It's just, this is just a Sunday morning fun thing. So what I'm going to do now is I've got some Dorland's Wax Medium. And this is... Uh, something that you can put over the top of oil paints, watercolors, whatever. I have not tried it on this yet. I've got, even though the ink is dry, it's very shiny here. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, it seems to be working and not smearing it. So what this will do is protect the the painting from water which it will be very susceptible to like i just said it, it's um it, it's very simple matter to just wash this painting right off of this paper so i'm going to protect it from that by putting this wax on and the wax is not harming it i didn't know if it would or not and it is not nothing's coming off I'm going, it, it is coming off a little bit. It's kind of smearing a little bit onto this paper. But not so that you would notice it on the, on the leaf. And I'm just going to very gently coat the leaf. And this not only protects it, but it, it gives it back some of the life that it loses watercolor loses some of some of its life when it dries so this brings it back now let's see i'm just going to dab it a touch 
I don't want to touch it too much just in case. I, I do put this on some of my watercolors every once in a while. I'll put it on a watercolor um, and, and it doesn't move it at all. But this because this is Yupo paper and, and it's not in there, it's not like soaked into the paper, um, it, it, it's more fragile. So there we go. I would probably take a clean paper towel and dab it a little bit more than let this dry. And it's done. It actually really looks a lot better now that I put that Dorland's wax on it. And I, I do like the wax. I haven't had any instances where I wish I hadn't put it on, but you must be finished with your painting before you do because if it's watercolor, that's it. That's the end. So I hope that you enjoyed this little fun thing on this nice sunny Sunday morning and I am going to go outside and get some fresh air now. So happy painting!